So I didn't really present her. This is Lady. She's a two-year-old Great Dane that some backyard breeder pretty much abused of her. And once they were finished with her, in the first year and a half, what I've read so far in her file, she was used for, she had two litters. Uh, something happened and she threw her away to the SPCA. I think she was locked in a kennel and never was in a family life. So she's got no socialization or social, whatever you call it, skills. She's, uh, she's attacked my dog twice, but it, the only reason why she attacks him is because of uh, a treat. She, she looks at, as soon as she hears the treats, the bag, she looks at my dog with big eyes and attacks him, but nobody's been hurt. But uh, I don't trust her. I find that she's, un you know, like she can turn around and snap any time. She but she's a good girl. She's beautiful. Her fur is beautiful. She just doesn't know how to be a dog. She doesn't know how to be a family member. She needs some training and skills or whatever being with a family. Uh, she doesn't listen very much on a leash. She just pulls uh, I don't think the people who had her before, not the, the woman who brought her here, I don't blame her at all. It's not her fault. She basically got screwed with, she paid for this dog too, and she got screwed after 24 hours or 48 hours. She realized that uh, she, first of all, this was a dangerous dog. She has a file for being aggressive. Uh, the person who adopted her from the SPCA says that she... Uh, uh, she went to court, she got a whole bunch of fines. This dog isn't allowed walking around on the streets unless she's wearing a muzzle or uh, even there. Uh, she's too dangerous to be on the streets and the woman finally just sold her to the woman who gave her to me without telling her all. She's a liability. If something happens, you're responsible for the whatever is going to happen to the people that this dog's going to hurt. Last night, she, she doesn't even want to sleep in my bed or anything. Uh, I have a little dog bed that she decided to sleep on in the kitchen all by herself. So I went and put a cover over her and gave her a kiss. And she turned around and growled at me like she was going to bite me. But she slept under that cover all night. And she asks for the door. And she's, she's, she's not bad. She just has... She's, I just don't know when she's going to turn around and bite. I'm scared of her. <laughs> I mean, I've been rescuing pit bulls, but I'm afraid of her. But she's a giant. She loves to get pet. She loves her belly rubbed. But you can be rubbing her, and all of a sudden she turns around and... Rawr! I don't know. Uh, anyway, she's safe with me. I'm just worried. I just don't want her to attack my dog again. Because it scared the hell out of my dog yesterday. I had trouble separating them. <laughs> Nobody has any marks. Nobody got bit. It, it all had to do with that stupid food again. But, uh... I take extra extra precautions with her. Even if I'm fenced in, she's tied up. Unless I'm outside watching over her every second. If she gets out my yard, I've lost her. She doesn't listen to her name. She... I don't know. She's a beautiful dog. Right now I'm talking to uh, Great Dane Sanctuary, hoping that maybe we can get her... They do uh, training and, and fostering and help only that breed because they know the breed better than me. I, I don't know this breed. I've met some, but I don't know that breed. I don't know... I don't know much about them. Except that they live between 8 and 10 years. And they have hip problems and joint problems and bone cancer. And they're such big dogs that they... And they have lots of heart problems. Right, Chico? Anyway, I don't judge. Black Lives Matter. So do Great Danes. When I say Black Lives Matter, it's because she's black. <laughs> anyway, so that is Lady. A two-year-old, pretty, 
pretty big girl. <laughs> pretty girl. Just wanted to introduce her.